Okay, we're in the final home stretch here. You can see there's another year and a half gap between January 23 and July 24. Just like there had been a year and a half gap from June 21 to December 22. But uh, I think there's just a couple of final scenes to anime here, and I finally got around to doing it. Let's see what 21 was. 21, the main thing I did different was I added the girl that he goes running home to. And even though I've never seen a penguin in a cave, I had this. This is new too, by the way, that extra step. In me. I think it looks better, but you probably never noticed that. Um, I, for some reason, I wanted him to be, come home. So I had them like living in like an ice cave. That's what this is supposed to be. Comes running into the ice cave, sees his wife, tells her what he saw. It's up to you whether he's saying, you can't believe the crazy thing I saw today, or whether he's saying, hey, I got a great idea. It's up to the user to decide what they're actually talking about. And she takes a couple steps towards him. He leans into her. And we do the cute little heart, Iris. Oh, isn't that sweet? Uh, 23. Oh, yeah. Here's the... There's only two little scenes missing that I've been really... <laughs> this, I've been putting these off on purpose because I didn't want to do them. But I knew I was going to have to roast a couple of them. I was going to have to videotape myself. So when he... He has a couple of lines that he says to her. In this one, he's saying, Come on, don't be that way. That's nice. I think that worked out okay. Is there anything else new in... I don't think so. Oh, yeah, there is. So, and this this is the one where I finally... Finally. I made the transition to do these Wagaloos in quadrants. So here's him, Wagaloo. No igloo, and then here's her wago woo. I like that idea. I'm glad I came up with that idea. That works well. Now to Ogle Boggle. That's where we just were. Igloo 22. Oh, I guess I was, I did a little, you know, I started in close and zoomed out a little bit. No big deal. That's not hard to do if you're making, if every scene you animate is its own. You know, its own graphic, then you can easily do that and zoom in and out. And then you just play it from there. And I think, yeah, I also toyed for a little brief while here with putting these cartoon captions. Ago, go, 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 and a translation down at the bottom, be my little Eskimo pie. That's how I always interpreted this. That's why the lyrics go, but in my mind, this is what he says, and this is what it means. But I also didn't want to force feed that on people. And I didn't like it. I didn't think it added anything. So I took that away after this version. Um, I'm almost done now, but this is when I decided to finally release the original card as a short, which a lot of the shorts are like taller than they are wide, but you're allowed to do it square, which is usually how I do my shorts. I do them square since they always start out, you know, 16 by 9. So this, this is just a square version. Of that, oh yeah, with the old music back in there, and then I published that and released that. Finally, Igloo Twenty Four. That's when we finally did the last scene, which I actually don't care for much. When the guy was, uh, when his little two D face is going around his circular head like this, side to side, it looked okay, but this shot where he's looking down looks very strange to me. And then he looks up, and then this is also weird to me. For some reason, I'm not sure. Is this head too big? There's something weird about this simple head and this rotoscape go rotoscope. We can build cool. But I was I was getting sick of by this time. I just wanted to have this over with. So yeah, this is finally. He says to her, "We can build and cool." And then I added her reaction, where she looks indignified to her, her lot. That makes I did that so it makes more sense when you come back to him and he says, Come on, don't be that way. And then I'm finally done. Everything else I think we've already gone through. And uh Oh, maybe there's a slight difference here. Like I said, I gave this away already. But I decided not to have him run into a cave. Penguins don't live in caves, so she's just standing out there, he runs up to her. 
and then close their eyes. I think in this version, 22, let's go to the end. Bago bago. No, I close their eyes there too. But before that, I know they were open. <laughs> he says confidently. <laughs> I like it better when their eyes are closed at the end, instead of like they're right here. In fact, here he's covering up her face. That's another reason why I guess I had to have her lean in so we can see them both. Yeah, the end. So that is the making of a little mediocre animated musical video. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed this walk down memory lane. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Thank you and good night.